Professor Yerby here with a short tutorial on a common problem that you may encounter while trying to set up your uh, virtual machines using VMware Workstation, especially the newer versions. Um, so here we see a person was opening Workstation 11. They wanted to create some VMs. Right, so they went through and they were going to install using a 8.1 Windows 64 uh, ISO file, which is all that's all good. And then we get to this machine, and then we get an error. It says binary translation is incompatible with long mode platform. So my first uh, clue right here would be let me figure out what this means. So uh, let me either click this link or let me search Google or another search engine for some of this information. Uh, I actually know what this problem is so we'll just keep moving forward uh, and we don't have to do that part just yet. The next error they get, this one is very helpful uh, if you if you know what you're, you're reading here. So it says this is configured as a 64-bit guest operating system uh, however 64-bit is not possible the host supports a VTX, but Intel VTX is disabled. So the solution, I can tell right here for the problem that this person is having, well, we have two different solutions. We can either choose to use a 32-bit operating system, and so that will get rid of this 64-bit error, or if the host computer truly does have the Intel VTX processor, what they would want to do is go into their BIOS and enable VTX support. I'm going to see if I can pull up a quick uh, tutorial of how to enable VTX in BIOS. So just go to this how-to geek. So hey, here's something similar. This person was doing something similar in VirtualBox instead of VMware. Uh, so what they would want to do is go into their boot menu and this is one of the more modern uh, BIOS settings here. I want to go look for an option named Intel Virtualization Technology or Intel VTX or Virtualization Extension even Vanderpool, I've never seen that one then enable that option, save and exit. Once you do that, your computer will restart. When you come back and run this same uh, issue, the problem should be gone. Uh, again, it gives you some steps. It says verify that the settings are saved and disable trusted execution. Power cycle the host. Power cycle the host if you have not done so. Uh, update the firmware. Be very careful. I would do that as a very last resort with a great backup. Um, that's step four. Uh, and I think that should solve the problem. Let me look through the last two screenshots here that we have. Just to see what we're looking at. Uh, so, again, it looks like they set the machine up, but I doubt that they were able, ever able to make the machine boot. Uh, so they took a snapshot of nothing. Um, so we'd want to definitely get that fixed and here here we are um, so they took a snapshot but there's nothing in the snapshot uh, because the actual virtual machine was never up and running since we never addressed the VTX issue so that's a very common problem um, I'll make sure this video is available to help people who encounter this same problem in the future Thanks, that concludes this tutorial.